my patience is really being tested <laughs> because of this is my third time trying to re-record Gemini's video. My phone keeps saying that I don't have storage, but I literally keep deleting so many apps. I don't know, Gemini. Well, it's not y'all fault, but I don't know what the hell is going on. So let me just hop into this reading and try to do it as fast as I can. I'm so sorry, Gemini's. But uh, yeah, hey, Gemini's. I'm gonna do my intro again. Here it come, here it come these twins. Yes, okay. So uh, first out, we got the Prince of Wands energy in reverse. So somebody's feeling impulsive, overbearing, like they have unachievable expectations, like something you want, you're just like, you're holding on to it too tight and you're being impulsive. And you know, your your expectations are just unachievable. Maybe you're in La La Land a little bit too much and you're a little bit too possessive. So, uh, and that makes sense because Gemini's tend to treat things like, they tend to treat people like objects and treat objects like people. like they're just possessive over everything but they kind of treat their items more important than they treat uh, people in their lives not saying that that's for everybody but that came out so I feel like it's for somebody somebody is impulsive overbearing and you have unachievable expectations so you're a little bit in la la land and you're just a little possessive so um and you're, and you're probably holding on to to something that you know you're overbearing for in some ways for some reason but um you have the uh, five of cups in reverse so that's about acceptance moving on and finding peace so uh because you you may know that you're being overbearing or you're impulsive and have all these expectations because you know that i think you're accepting that fact and you're moving on and you're trying to find a uh, peace within yourself and you're trying to move to a place of just like, okay, I want to feel better and I want to accept what's happening. I don't want to hold on to it and be overbearing anymore. Uh, the four of pentacles and the upright conversation, frugality, uh, security. So you're going to have some type of uh, conversation, maybe some type of reconciliation that you needed to have that's going to bring you uh, some structure, some stability, uh, some security. You're going to be frugal. Maybe you're going to... Um, be a little bit more particular about how you spend money or how you spend your energy and spend your time because maybe you don't want to be in that overbearing impulsive energy anymore or having all of these crazy as expectations that you may not be able to meet. I saw two, two, two. So that's for you, Gemini's. So yeah, um, after that, honey, you got the five of wands in the upright. That's about competition, rivalry, conflict. So you know you're in a very competitive mood you have uh somebody that you're going up against maybe some type of conflict that's happening and um maybe you're trying to find some stability uh so that you because you know you're going to enter that kind of energy uh for some reason uh there's for some reason you're feeling a need to compete you're feeling you have conflicts going on and you're rivaling you're going against something or someone uh uh, maybe you could be going up against yourself uh something in nature or something or another human so you know, who knows uh, what that is about. I'm feeling so weird in your energy. It's like a goofy one minute, happy the next, and then irritated the next. Like, it's kind of all over the place, but you are an air sign. So, you know, decipher that. <laughs> Uh, then you got the Ten of Swords in the reverse, so that's uh, things can't get any worse. You know, you can only go up from where you're at and inevitable inevitable end. So something you're going through, you know, uh, it's falling under this impulsive, overbearing, unachievable because, you know, there's an in inevitable. Ooh, Lord, I'm gonna slow down. I don't want it to cut off on me. So you know there's going to be an inevitable end like it's gonna end for sure you know it whatever it is that you're holding on to everything in life is transient so maybe that's what you're realizing or maybe it's uh towards something specific in your life of course i think that could be the case or maybe it's just transience overall for a lot of you because your air signs you understand you know clouds are always changing air is it moves it's swift so um things can't get any worse you know you can go only up from where you're at maybe you're feeling like you're at a very low point because you're feeling impulsive overbearing you're holding on to something you're like you know what i want to accept and move on from this thing you know i can only go up from here because things can only get any like you know they can't get worse than they are so maybe you're just really at the lowest or you're at the bottom and you're trying to work your way up and you just know you know something has to be better but you're very impulsive it seems like you go to extremes of feeling emotional then passionate then you know you're going back and forth but you're trying to get some type of so some type of closure some type of reconciliation you're being very frugal you're trying to be secure within yourself and hope that that helps maybe um and then you got the wheel of fortune in reverse so no control clinging to control bad luck and i felt that with the impulsive and overbearing unachievable because you're clinging you're clinging you're clinging 
you're having bad luck because you're clinging. I think you become, uh, I'm, I'm feeling like you're becoming uh, possessive over something in your life. Maybe people, maybe objects, uh, maybe your materials, maybe your job. Just you're clinging to something, but you know cl cl uh, transience. You understand things are ever changing, but for some reason you want to hold on to something tight, even though you know it's going to go somewhere at some point and it can't get any worse than that. So like, I don't know. You got to let go of that control. You have no control in this situation. And if you keep holding and keep trying to like hold on tight, you're literally going to like have more bad luck. So if you want to avoid bad luck, Gemini, you know, maybe loosen your reins a little bit and be less possessive. Um, you got the eight of cups in the upright. Um, and this card is about walking away, disillusion, disillusionment and leaving behind. So you're going to walk away from something. You're tired of being confused about it. You're tired of holding on tightly. You know it's going to end. You're just, I guess, trying to figure out how. Maybe uh, you feel like you're in competition with someone else or something else. Uh, and there's conflicts. There's rivalry. You're, you're rivaling between two things, but you just want to stop. But you're you're so... You're holding on so tightly, but it's so much bad luck involved in this. There's an inevitable end, and you know this. So, um, yeah, I think spirit wants you to kind of get in that that grounded energy of like protecting yourself and becoming a lot more secure within yourself. Uh, and, and if you need to have some type of reconciliation or conversation to help get you there, maybe you should seek it out. And if you can't get it for some reason, maybe you just have to do some like inner work. You know what I'm saying? So that you can figure out the source of why you're feeling so possessive anyways. But you have the five of cups here in reverse. So you're going to accept it. You're going to move on. You're going to find peace. Peace. it's all here you're gonna have security you're gonna be frugal next time with your energy with your money with with your space and your energy but you know right now you're just kind of clinging and the fact that you just keep getting bad luck from that clinging is what's gonna let allow you to let go so you know you were real goofy and real you know temperamental on the surface but then you got very grounded and very calm uh gemini so i'm feeling like you guys are feeling probably a, like very grounded you know trying to figure things out but superficially you're feeling all over the place so maybe um i think spirit is probably trying to suggest uh to you through that energy coming through me that um you may want to uh reach into a more grounded place like you know kind of ground that air energy ground that that um that um that flightiness so uh that's what i have for you gemini i hope that helps someone uh and i hope that resonated if not i'm sorry but uh see you at the next one peace